Hello and welcome, my name is Parky and welcome back to Pakistan 8. Literally the only place in the entire world where you'll find one, two, three, five kinds of burger restaurant. Actually no, five of the same burger restaurant, no less, in the same small area <laughs> around the roundabout. Yes, they love their... what is this place called? What are you called? Big Bite. They love their Big Bites in Pakistan, that's for sure. Last time we managed to progress quite a bit. We placed down a lot of industrial, which has now resulted in a real massive demand for residential, which is something that we can sort out. We've placed down a lot more roads and we, I think, got the option of expanding our territory even more, but I don't think we really need to do that quite yet, because frankly, we have plenty of space to expand into. We also faced a bit of a water shortage problem as well as an electricity problem as well, which is becoming a bit of a standard of each episode, so we placed down some more pumps, we've got another water pumping station station up here and another sewage plant down here. Now this time what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to obviously expand our residential massively. We're working towards a population of 7,500 so that should be doable this episode I'd like to think. And thus, my friends, we are going to unlock the metro station, the university and the much needed incineration plant. The incineration plant is much needed because I've had to plop down about three of these landfill sites, which is not really great. Because the problem is, obviously, if you're not incinerating the rubbish, then it's literally just sat in the dump, which is not great at all. One thing that I would like to change in my city's layout is that I've been leaving these big gaps in between the roads. Now, according to you guys, there is no need to have big gaps like this. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be trying to fill these in a bit like this. According to you, they don't actually... Uh, these buildings don't ever expand beyond the uh, grade squared area. So yeah, that was a bad, bad idea, but I didn't know, to be fair. So what we're going to do is we're going to instantly fulfill the demand for residential by placing down a hell of a lot more roads like this. Oh, what is that? Is this something important? It doesn't look particularly important. It's fine. You can be destroyed forever. There we go. Unfortunately, we do have a hospital here, so I'm thinking we're probably going to have to go a bit like this and then do our cross hatch across the middle like that. Right, so this is going to give us a lot more area to deal with. Of course, what we could do also is we could put some roads running through the middle. It's becoming a bit of a square box, isn't it, of a city? That is the only problem with doing something like this, but there's not much I can do. This is the layout I started with, unfortunately. We're going to start doing something a bit more interesting with the layout, I do promise you, um, probably as soon as we go across the water here. I think we're going to try and stick to the curves of the land a bit more. But for here, for now, we're just going to stick with the classic square grid layout, which is classic because everyone does it. <laughs> okay, so this is all going to be residential. Uh, we're probably going to get a really high demand for some more commercial areas now. One thing that I could actually do, let's, let's tackle that instantly by getting rid of a bit of this, maybe that much, putting down some commercial there and I think if we just have a quick look at this do we unlock the offices office zones yeah okay so I don't really know what these are I'm gonna be honest obviously they are offices I know I know literally what they are you smart ass I don't know what they do is what I'm saying make sure you have a university in the city to provide suitable workers right okay so I'm assuming that this is unlocking the sort of higher skilled tier of workers which is obviously good for um, diversity of jobs in the city and and what not like that I think also I'm gonna open this up again because I'm useless and keep <laughs> keep closing it down we are also going to get some high density residential and commercial this is obviously good news as well because it means that we can start fitting in a bit more stuff in our city in a smaller space which is absolutely wonderful so I'm thinking what we're going to probably do is start saving this area here for some offices because this seems like a workplace this side of the town near the river and the highway Got all the offices, place of work over here. Oh, we've missed some water over here, we'll have to fix that. And all of this seems to be like a residential zone. Obviously this can change and it doesn't really matter. I'm just assuming, again, that people probably don't want many offices and places of work where they're living. So whatevs. Whatevs. Yes. Okay, so we've got a bit of water that's missing down this way. 
So if we put a pipe running like that, that should cover that. Oh, of course, we're going to need water running down these roads as well. So let's just do this now. Might as well get the infrastructure there so we don't have to worry about it later on. And here we go. Just one going along here like that. Right, there we are. Got water running everywhere. Oh, we've actually missed these roads. Might as well do these, as there are going to be people living living in this area, or perhaps even working. You, you need water to work. Maybe you don't. Maybe we can run a horrible, evil business corporation where everyone doesn't have any human rights. That sounds like something that would exist in Pakistan, let's be honest. Okay, now let's have a little look at our power. Our electricity is absolutely fine. We're off the scales. I think that it might be something to do with the fact that I put down an oil power plant last episode, which is absolutely wonderful indeed. So, we could consider getting rid of some of these horrible pylons. Again, I, I'm sort of assuming that it's going to help no matter what we have. I mean, they are producing some power. Whatever. It doesn't really matter that much, so we're just going to leave it. Okay, so we should speed this up. That is something that I should have been doing already. Currently gaining a lot of people coming in. Uh, there's a piece of land that we can buy as well. But we're going to slowly, or rather quickly, actually be working our way towards the 7,500 goal. And then we'll be able to play around with some of the nice new things. I feel as though I might as well start buying some of this land. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand here. Because I kind of feel like that's a good idea. Sure. Okay. So we've got a little sort of um, Tetris block of land right now. It's not actually... I don't think any Tetris blocks actually look like that, but it's fine. You know what I mean. Don't be picky. Right, so all of our levels have gone down right now, so we don't currently need anything. There's plenty of work going around. There's also plenty of uh, consumer... Com consumer zone? Oh my god, what am I? 90 years old. Commercial zone and also residential. Sometimes I have the dexterity of a 90-year-old, but that's because I sit in front of the computer all day playing video games. But that's a completely different issue. Nothing to do with the building of Pakistan. <laughs> what is everyone saying? I've not even been looking at this. Threat of tsunamis has caused shutdown of nuclear plants worldwide. Oh, okay. So I guess that's an endgame thing that we need to worry about. Natural disasters. I hadn't even thought of that. What kind of natural disasters could we face here? That's slightly concerning. Just because I'm being pernickety and this is bothering me, I think I'm going to connect all these roads together. Unfortunately, I can't help myself, and I, I do have OCD. So we're going to draw a line of road going like this. We're going to connect all of these up so they're all part of the same system. It's going to help with the road, the, the traffic, the road traffic, I should say. And we've got a bit of a weird thing going on here, so I think we'll probably just do a diagonal road like this. Kind of has the same effect. Fine. I should have thought of that about this road layout a bit better, but it's okay, you know, it's, it's got character. And that's what we're worried about here, if things have character. And as such, we're going to place down some roads going like this, because, again, why not? And in these spaces here, we're going to place down some more residential, and I think probably could do with a bit more commercial along here somewhere, so maybe we'll put, we'll expand our commercial roundabout over this way and we'll place the rest of this as residential like this. It's annoying that it doesn't, it sort of splits it into little areas like this, I guess it's to maximise the amount of space efficiency that the game gives you for these, these zones, but yeah, whatever, it's not really an issue. Right, so that's all done, we're slowly creeping towards our 7,500 goal. One thing that we need, low happiness. We need to put down some parks. I completely forgot about this. Now, these use electricity. They also use some water, some of them anyway, and they have an upkeep. Of course, the upkeep isn't very high, and it's not really as if we need to worry about the upkeep at the moment for a few parks anyway. So we've got a small park. Where's the range on this? Quite Wow, that is really massive. I don't know why they think it's a small park. Right. <laughs> God damn. Uh, these are actually a lot better. Now, do they... Do they only affect a certain bit of the population? This is children. This here is a plaza with trees. This would be nice. We'll put down one of these like that. Parks make everyone happy. So let's put down another one here like that. And we could probably do with a park on this bit of land. Fulfilling all those people's needs. And I think we could 
probably put one here quite happily, just to cover the rest of these for now. Okay, well, that's pretty good. Everyone's going to be a lot happier. Global happiness is very high indeed. And I think that should start increasing the amount of people that want to come and live here. God, it's like a constant battle of expanding the bloody water network in this place, isn't it? Look at this. God, people are so picky. They want water, food, somewhere nice to live where they don't fear and being stabbed and other horrible things. What is wrong with people? God... Now, our water available is starting to dwindle a little bit, so I'm considering putting down another pumping station. So let's do that over here. And I think we'll put it... We might as well just put it here. It doesn't really have that much of an effect, I don't think, anyway. Congratulations! You've reached a population of 7,500. So we've now got the metro, the university, and the incineration plant. Now, all these things I need to put down. Obviously, before putting down an office zone, we need to put down the university to start getting some highly educated people. And then we can start taking advantage of the high-density road, uh, residential and commercial. I apologise. Right, there we go. So now I've got the next aim of 11,000 as a population. It's going to give us um, a train, train service, that would be pretty cool. I'd like to put down some trains in my town. It's got a train station, cargo train terminal, and a hydro power plant. Wow. So we can put this in a river. Now, one of my questions with this is, because I have no idea, surely building a dam in a river is going to flood some land. I don't know whether that is part of the game. It's one of those things we're going to find out, is what I'm trying to say. What unique buildings do we have? Do we have any of these? I don't think we do. Oh, we must do, because you unlock these per level, don't you? Oh, maybe not. Hmm, interesting. Right, there we go. City expanding once again on our way to becoming a metropolis. That you are. That you are, my friends. So let's connect this up. We need to connect it up to the power as well. So if we do that, and where is our power? God, I'm derping out completely. And like this. There we go. Wonderful. So that is unfortunately going to start draining our electricity a little bit more. That has dropped suddenly, hasn't it? When do we unlock this next one? We need a population of... It doesn't say. A hydropower plant. Oh no, it's the next one, isn't it? Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Oh well, at least I've realised. Okay, so we obviously now, because we've got a higher population, need to start worrying about our city services a bit more as well. Uh, we can... S oh look, this is the unique buildings. So what is this? A wall of modernisation. Mall is not so posh, but has lots of small, cheap spots. How much does this cost? 320 a week. Oh my god. That's quite a lot, but we do have a lot of money. Should we just put one of these down? We could just... yeah. Oh, it has a, an area of effect. So, maybe we should put it, like, here. There we go. Wow. That's cool. Why not? It doesn't really matter. So we've already built that. You can only build one of those, apparently, but that's fine. Maybe there's an aim to build all of them in your city. I have no idea again. Right, so one thing that we can build now is the incineration plant. So what we're going to do is we're going to place this down here. Does it matter where we put it? Instead of just collecting garbage, why not burn it and turn it into electricity? Oh wow, it produces electricity through the power of steam turbines. Where can we put this? I suppose one good place to put this would be right next to a dump, wouldn't it? So we could do that. In fact, let's put it next to this one, because it's sort of more in the centre of town. These people aren't very happy that they're next to an incineration plant, but to be honest, I don't give a shit. <laughs> you can deal with it, people. Deal with it indeed. Okay, and of course, next thing is the university. This is going to be one... Th wow, this is expensive. This is really expensive, but I guess we do need it in order to put down the uh, office zone. God, that is a lot of money. Fine. We're going to do it. Everyone's going to be fucking happy. And then we can put down the... Oh, well, look, we've got these other zones as well. Oh, these were just high density, right? Okay, and we've got office zones. So we can now put down some office zones here and here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start with these three rows because we don't know how quickly uh, the residents of Pakistan are going to ding in terms of their education and intelligence to be able to actually work in the offices. For all we know, it might take bloody ages. So we're going to go with that. We're going to speed this back up. We're making a substantially less uh, amount per week now, which is a bit of a pain. And it is still slowly draining away. 
But we are gaining people into the town, so hopefully it will balance out from other things. There we go, it's going back up again now. Okay, now do we have any demand for anything? It seems as though we have a bit of demand for commercial zone. We could put down some high density commercial zone and try and figure out what's going on here. That would be quite cool. What we could do is actually de deselect this and put down some high density here instead. Yeah! Why not just replace our low density with high density? That makes a lot of sense. Does it make a lot of sense? I have no idea, but we're going to do it anyway. Because it seems like a good thing to do in my mind. There we go. Is this all going to be high density here? Have you noticed you now zone a high density residential? I have indeed. How exciting, game. Thank you for telling me. And I tell you what, we're going to put down some high density residential here. As Norm really has moved in. And we're going to unzone this. Again, it might take a while to unzone and rezone a lot of this stuff. But I don't know whether it's actually worth doing. Oh, look at that achievement. Climbing the social ladder. High density residential. There we go. Lovely, lovely jubbly. So one thing that we could do is just start expanding our high density somewhere else and not worry about replacing this. But I feel as though we've got a good setup here. And maybe it's worth getting rid of some of these low density areas. We're going to make this high density here. They're probably complaining, but it's fine. There we go. So we're going to zone all of this as high density, like so. And here as well. Oh, look at this. These tiny bits here. We've missed them. Silly derp game. There we go. Can't miss any of these little bits. How terrible. Right, so that's all going to be high density now. How does this look? Oh, wow, this is really cool looking. And is bowling alley. Burned bean coffee. Oh, there's an octopus shop. Pernu? Is that like... That sounds like Japanese for something I don't want to think about. Oh, well. We've got high-density zones now. This is very exciting indeed. So we've got a lot to be doing. We've also got a lot more stuff to play around with over here. Offices are starting to go down. We can put down some high-density residents along here. I feel as though maybe this is what I'll just use this for. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. You know what? Yeah, why not? It doesn't even matter. And then we can start connecting these roads together a bit like this. Sorry, officers, I'm sort of having to shove you out of the way a little bit. I have to build around that there. And we're also going... Oh, wow, what's this? Remember to have a look at the new... Oh, yes, the metro! We haven't even put down any metro stations yet. Oh, so much to play with. I'm so excited. And we can fill the rest of this in with some more officers, because I think we're going to need a lot of these anyway. So there we go. Right. Have you noticed there's an abandoned building in the city? Abandoned buildings is low, lower land value. Blah, blah, blah. Right. Okay. Lovely. Now, is there a separate demand tree for offices? I guess... Oh, no. Look. Here we go. Low demand for industry or offices. So it's all sort of bundled into that one. Fine. That makes a lot of sense. Now, one thing we can do is start looking for little areas like this that we can start filling in with a bit of commercial around the place, because apparently it's good to have it all spread out. And then, I don't even know where to start expanding. Look at this, we've actually been offered another bit of land. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to take this one to make a nice little square of Pakistan. Now, we're not going to need to expand our city much more than this very soon, so I think we're just going to ignore any more messages like that that we get, because, frankly, we don't need to worry. We've got plenty of space. We can start expanding over here. Oh, look, we can actually expand into this... Um, this highway again, that'd be pretty good. So we're going to have a highway running through the middle of our town. Or should we say large town? What are we now? What are we officially? We are a small... Oh, we're not a small city. We're a big town. So we are going to be a small city when we reach 11,000. It shouldn't be too long. Look at the rate that our population is going up on. That's pretty good. That is pretty good indeed. So this seems like a good place to end it. If you enjoyed the episode and enjoyed our progress, please feel free to leave your comments in the comment section below. Leave um, ratings and subscribe if you haven't done already. Thank you for watching. I'm getting tongue-tied. Goodbye, awkward, awkward goodbye. Awkward.